Okay, downstairs in the entrance hall of my apartment. And I've got three things. That's not that heavy, but the box underneath is. I've got three things down here that are so heavy that it, <laughs> I just drug them in the door and then stopped. But this is uh, one of the AGM batteries. I think they have handles on them. Now, at the extraordinary weight that these things have, they're really not transportable in this odd box shape. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. <laughs> this is a monstrous load. When I start putting the area together for this battery, it's going to be have to heavily reinforced because these will be two deadly missiles in a uh, in a motor vehicle in case of a collision. Okay, there it is, a VMAX Solar. I think it has handles on it. At the extraordinary weight. Handles, I don't know where you're going to be able to transport this thing. It does have handles. Ooh, this is a monstrous battery. Don't let anybody fool you. <laughs> I think it said it was about 90 some odd pounds. So chances are I'm not carrying it up these stairs. I'm going to just leave it down in the garage area, which is just through the other door. To my right as I'm standing. He has 12 volts, 155 milliamps. And as I've said before, this is a horse of a battery to carry. When I begin to mount these things, what I will probably be doing is, is using a, a two-wheeler or four-wheeler to maneuver them. It's barely. Don't give me crap about how dirty this area is. I'm going to clean this out. I'm moving. I'm not cleaning anything down here. I'm just moving crap through it. And I've got to sort of make a better space area for this. So that's the VMAX battery. I'm not a weak guy. And it took a, takes a pretty good amount of energy effort to move this haven't done much weight lifting in a while so it took a considerable amount of effort I'm not carrying this upstairs definitely I'm just gonna I'm going to create a place in my garage and set it up and store them there stick a battery charger on them to, to maintain voltage and that's about the best I'm gonna do I'll do the other one later but I thought I'd give you a look at it because uh, a lot of people uh, express interest in it. 155 milliamps. I have another one over here under this smaller box. Exactly like this. So, uh, yeah. My job is going to be either having a battery box constructed or constructing one myself. That's beefy enough to prevent these things from turning into... Uh, head breaking back breaking missiles in case of an accident hmm it's gonna be interesting okay so, uh, uh this hitch mount cargo carrier i haven't shown it yet this is basically going to be used in the summer months in texas assuming that i'm out and about in them when a generator would be useful uh, you know, you're not going to run a generator in your uh, average van. 
Uh, they, they do have some RVs that have generators built in and all the required piping to make sure it doesn't kill you. But in a, in a van, as I've said before, it's a gas chamber with a generator. But I could put it, place this outside, chain it the wazoo out of it to keep from getting stolen easily. Can't ever prevent it from being stolen. And just run it for a while outside the, uh, the space and area of the van with carbon monoxide alarms inside the door so I gotta make sure it doesn't anything comes back through the rear doors into the body of the van well thought I'd give you a quick look at this this is nothing but a little tool kit over there so I'm not gonna worry about that this is just general stuff the rest of this stuff is gas can there's another battery has to get the heck out of here some tools so this has been turned into the ante room of my uh, of my van effort. They thought I'd give you a quick, quick look at this. I've got some. I've got that uh, intelligent battery charger up there. I can keep this thing charged completely until I can get it in the van and hooked up to a uh, hooked up to the solar panels. All right, that's it for now. Uh, I've got to find a place to put this out in the garage as I'm cleaning it up uh, and uh, and get this placed. Alright, that's all I've got on this and we'll see what I can might interweave into a video.